You know I love Hobeo products here on my channel. In the past I've featured some epic cars by Hobeo, I featured the Hyper VSE which was built on a budget, the amazing and in my opinion one of the best truggies money can buy, the Hyper SSTE and I've even featured a Nitro Hyper 7.5 which I did manage to grab at a bargain price but it did need some work doing to it to make it usable again because it was left sitting for about 10 years in the back of a shed. Now let's face it, Habeo or Habao, whichever way you want to pronounce it, these guys are extremely underrated and it's a real shame because they do produce some really cool RC cars. And I think it's time for change. I think we need to show people just how good Habeo is as a brand. So today we're taking a look at another Habeo car, but this time it's a 1.8 scale rally car. Guys, I'm really excited about this one it looks fantastic let's do it check this out this is my brand new Herbeo Hyper GT rally car And here it is then, this is my brand new Habeo Hyper GT rally car and initial impressions, well, I think it looks fantastic. Now I managed to pick this up ready to run second hand for around 200 pounds, which is about $256, which is cheaper than the current cost of the rolling chassis, which retails in the UK for around 239 pounds or $306. And someone did leave a comment recently wondering why a British guy keeps mentioning dollars. 36% of my total monthly views are currently from you guys in the US and only 9% are from the UK. Now this means I have to make sure my content is suitable for a much wider audience than just the UK. Now when I do my videos I tend to put the pound sterling price on the screen but I almost always do a dollars conversion and this makes sense to make sure all you guys in the US are happy. So back to the Hyper GT rally car then now I'm just having a look at the body shell now because this is a second-hand car of of course we're going to have the usual scrapes and blemishes on the body but overall there isn't really much to complain about. Now the previous owner has done a fantastic job with this body, I really like what they've done here, the white looks fantastic and we've got all the sponsor decals, it just looks really really cool. There's also a little bit of damage on the back here but I'm not going to worry too much about that because the rest of the body is in really good condition. Yeah I'm really pleased with this so far. So I think what we'll do next is get the body off, let's have a look at the electronics and see what's going on on the chassis. So let's take a look under the body then. Now, as you would expect, everything here looks like your typical Hyper. Now I featured the VSE, the SSTE and the Hyper 7.5 and they all share lots of components. Everything looks really familiar here and everything looks so well engineered. And I really do think the quality is so much better here compared to Traxxas and Arma. Now I know that's quite a controversial opinion, but I am entitled to it. Now there is a little bit of damage to the front bumper and I will probably replace that at some point. But apart from that, everything looks intact. The shocks feel really, really good. Now this is the short wheelbase version as you can see, but Hobeo also sell the GTB, which is pretty much exactly the same, apart from being a little bit longer. So electronics wise, we have got a 120 amp Hobbywing ESC, it looks like it's the WPSC8, and this ESC is only 2 to 4S capable, you can't run it on 6S. Now moving on to the motor, now again this looks like your typical Hobbywing motor, but it's not, I think it's like a rebrand, it's a 4274 2000 kV. Now, now this is 6S capable but because the ESC is only 4S if you wanted to run 6S on this we would have to change that out. But I don't plan to run 6S anyway I'm going to stick to 4S so we should be good to go. Now when it comes to the steering servo we have got a Habeo special this is the HB5518 I'm pretty sure this is the one they include on all of their ready to run vehicles. Now these things are metal geared it provides around 18 kilos uh, of steering power and apart from that that's pretty much it. Now the steering doesn't feel too bad, it's actually quite good, 
but I'll still probably upgrade that later. Now look where we are, we've got a nice flat surface. I think we need to see how fast it will go on a 4S pack. So first up, let's do the 4S speed test. Let's start the GPS, let's see what we can achieve. Now I think we're gonna see mid 30s out of this. It is running an 18 tooth pinion. It feels nippy. But are we gonna achieve 40 or more? I don't think we are. I think we're gonna see like mid 30s, 36, 37 maybe at a push. Now what I really like about this setup is it is usable. It's not some crazy overpowered build. It's a nice usable amount of power. And I do prefer builds like this compared to those crazy overpowered builds. I find they're just not usable on a daily basis. Something like this though, absolutely. Right, let's bring it back, let's see what we got. So let's stop the GPS, let's read. We got 35, not too bad. So we managed to achieve 35 miles per hour and that isn't a bad speed at all considering the gearing and the fact that we're on 4S and this is a big heavy car, I don't think that's too bad. Now if I wanted to I could change out the ESC and the gearing and I could run 6S and I could probably achieve a lot more speed. But I probably won't do that because like I said when I was doing the speed run I do like a car that is usable. So we've got the speed run out the way, I think it's time we have some fun with this. I'm going to stick the GoPro on it as well. I want to get some action footage because this thing is so cool. What a cool car. Now the person that had this before me has fitted Hoons. Now those things are cool for on-road running, but I plan to run this off-road. But for today, we're going to run them anyway. Now I'm over here on the gravel. How is this going to perform with the Hoons? What a cool car though. And I do like cars that are a little bit bigger compared to the one temp scale stuff because you do get that extra ground clearance plus the fact that they're a little bit more heavy and a lot more stable. So let's see if it can handle a little bit of dirt. Yeah, easily. Doesn't this thing look so cool? Right, I'm gonna get the GoPro out. We're gonna get some action footage and then we're gonna talk about this at the end. So there we go then guys, that was the Habeo Hyper GT in action and what a fantastic car. This is probably one of the best purchases I've made this year. Now I'm definitely going to be doing some upgrades, I will change out the steering servo. I'm also going to change the wheels and tyres because I want to take this thing with me bashing. I want to use it off road, I don't want it to be restricted to on road use. Now if you own one of these feel free to drop a comment down below and let me know if there's anything else you would recommend changing. Now so far the Maverick Quantum RX Flux has been my favourite RC rally car, 
But today, I think this one has taken the crown. Now the Maverick Quantum RX Flux is still a really good choice, especially if you're looking for a ready to run. Just because I got this for cheap, doesn't mean you're gonna pick up the same deal. And if you buy one of these as a roller, you do have to factor in the cost of all of your electronics to get it up and running. And that total is gonna to come to a lot more than a ready to run Maverick. But come on, I think this thing is worth the extra money. They're built like tanks and her Bayo quality is absolutely fantastic. I still can't understand why they're such an underrated company. So would you buy one of these instead of the Maverick Quantum RX Flux? Let me know in the comment section down below. We're well on our way to 30,000 subscribers now and we should reach that in the next few months. But guys, it's really important that you comment, you like and you share my videos because it will help with the algorithm and it will help the channel to grow. Cheers for watching, see you on the next one. Take care. Now, if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more from Herbeo on my channel, click the top video to check out my Hyper VSE or click the bottom video to check out the fantastic Hyper SSTE.